What's up, folks? Happy Friday to all of you. It's almost the weekend. Glad you're here to do some drawing with me. Ooh, we have a fun one today. It's a special one. Yes, you know, in these times, it's uh, difficult sometimes to keep your temper. You know, you want to be calm, you want to be kind, you want to be nice. But I was arguing with somebody the other day about the earth being flat. And, uh, you know, he, he said to me, and this is ridiculous, he said, I'm going to walk to the edge of the earth, all the way to the end, all the way to the edge, and prove to you that it's flat. Anyway, I'm sure he'll come around eventually. So, <clears throat> let's do some drawing together. Grab yourselves a pen, a pencil, a stick, a piece of charcoal, a crayon, a marker. Really, it does not matter because whatever you draw with, it's going to look great. All right, so folks, are you ready? This is going to be a draw along section, which is when I draw something and then you follow along with me. Couldn't be simpler. I draw one line at a time. I draw straight lines. Okay, sometimes I draw curvy lines. And sometimes I'll draw zigzags like that. All of you can do that. No big whoop. So are you ready to get started? Here we go. It's going to be a straight line from one side to the other, eh, about that long. Okay, and while you're getting set up, get yourself some paper and something to draw with. I'm gonna check the chat and say hello. Hello, hello, we have Twee, we have Sam, we have Jan, we have Miguel, we have John. Aloha, everybody, and thank you for joining me. Alrighty, aloha, by the way, is French for hello. Now, next step, we're going to do a little diagonal line, and it's going to look a little something like this. Diagonal, stop about there, okay? Now, if your line is a little bit longer or a little bit shorter, doesn't matter. It's going to look good. Don't worry about it. We're going to bounce over to this side and do the same thing. This is where we sometimes do a little symmetrical action, right? Boop, just like that. So far, so good. Now. You know how we like to do this little thing where we give ourselves a little tip for where to go next by making a dot. So I'm going to come down here on my paper. Haha, -ha, digital paper, but hey, what's the difference? And I'm going to make a little mark right here. This is, if you notice, centered with this line. So here's the total length of this line. I come to the center. I drop down to about here, and I just make a teeny tiny little dot like that. I know it's small, but it's just there to show me where to go next, right? Now, for drawing straight lines, sometimes it's easy to rotate your paper. That makes it a little easier. So I like to do that sometimes, I like to rotate it, right? And then I can just connect to there. And then I can rotate it that way, like so. And then I can connect like that, okay? Rotating the paper helps you draw better, sometimes, sometimes. Okay, let's make sure we're all keeping up. I wanna make sure I'm not going too fast. How are we looking so far? And do you have any guesses for what we're drawing? And no, it is not the Decepticon or Autobot symbol. All right, well, let's keep going. Next step is going to be a diagonal line. And I'm going to follow along with a line that I've already drawn. So it's like I'm picking up that line and just making it longer, okay? And here's what it looks like. I'm gonna come up right here, see this line? And I carry it up about like that. No problem, right? I know you all can do that. Alrighty, then I'm going to do a curvilinear line, right? And it's going to be like this, C curve up to there. So here we go, C curve, stop right about there. Okay, now I'm actually gonna carry that C curve out into a straight line like this, just like that, stop about there, okay? And then I'm gonna make a line that is roughly parallel with this line. Doesn't have to be parallel though. Don't worry about it. It's gonna be about like that. Any guesses about what we're drawing? Let's see. Is it a fox? A pocket from a pair of jeans? Good guesses, but not quite. All right, watch this. Another diagonal line. Now this one's gonna come back like this. And then I'm gonna add a curve. Watch this, bump. Just like that, a bump, a C curve. We've done those before. All right, now from that C curve, I'm gonna draw a line out like this, okay? Then I'm going to connect it back to about here, right? 
Could be straight, could be a little curvy. You don't have to worry about it. I'm gonna kind of shoot for a straight-ish line like that. Alrighty. Am I giving it away too soon? Am I giving away what we're drawing too soon? Maybe, maybe, maybe. All right, next, watch this. We're gonna do the same thing we did before, which is to carry one of our straighter lines out a little longer, only this time I'm gonna carry it this way. So I'm gonna come out here, stop about there, okay? I'm gonna do another C curve like we did before. C curve. Alrighty. And now I'm gonna do another straight line. I'm gonna start right here where the C curve touches that straight line. I'm gonna pop up this way. So we're gonna go up, stop about there. And now I'm gonna do a big long line like this. Look at that big one, okay? So we got an angle there. We go straight and then straight. Okay, now here comes another one, straight. And now another bump. Here comes the bump, bump. Okay, notice that what we're doing on this side looks similar to what we did on the other side, only it's a little bit bigger, right? This whole section. And now straight out again, and then we're gonna come straight back to here. Just like this. Okay, now I think some of you are probably gonna figure this out. Yes, Ashi says a crab. Yes, a crab, a crab, a crab, well done. A Star Wars pilot, that's funny. Airplane, said Miguel. Well, now I think we've given it away. It is absolutely a crab. Now let me show you a fun way to do the crab eyes. We're gonna do a loop. Okay, now watch carefully. I'm gonna come up at an angle. I'm gonna loop around and then drop straight down. So here it goes. Up at an angle, loop, and straight down. See that? I'll do the same thing on the other side, only going the other direction. I'm gonna go up this way, loop, and come straight down. So here we go. Loop and straight down. And there are the crab's eyes. Cool, right? Now for the legs, watch this. We're gonna do long skinny triangles. We're gonna do two along this section of the line, like this. One. See how long and skinny those are? Two. Okay, like that. If your triangles are a little shorter, a little longer, not quite as wide, or maybe narrower, don't worry about it. It's still going to look like a crab and it's gonna be just fine. Now watch this, I'm going to drop another little triangle like that off the side, and then same here, okay? And then one more, another one, and another one. Look how cool that is, you make some crab legs just like that. Now for the next leg, it's gonna be a little different. I'm actually gonna start here, okay? And watch this, I'm gonna draw it at a different angle. Down about like that, connect it. So there's another triangle. Same as before, another triangle. But this part's gonna be a little different, watch. From this straight line, I'm actually gonna curve it like that, make a C curve, and then bring it back. And then right here, I'm going to make another C curve. Watch, C curve. Okay, now what do you have to do? You have to do the same thing on the other side, symmetry. But again, it doesn't matter if they're exactly the same size, no big whoop. Okay, so here we go. One, and I'll do another one here. Okay, and then I'm gonna do one like this, All right? I'm just copying the same thing I did over to this side. And then a curve, and a curve. Now I gotta add those other triangles. And give that crab some legs, just like that. Okay, so I'll wait a minute, and I want you all to take your time to get those crab legs looking good, all right? Today, uh, by the way, after this, right after the you draw, we're gonna do the animal act activity game, which is when you come up with an animal doing something interesting, funny, weird, and then I have to try and draw it really quickly. And that's the suggestions that I read in the chat that are really fun. They're always really creative. You guys come up with the best stuff, so I'm looking forward to that. And I'll, I'll finish today with a little art tip for you. Um, and it'll be a short one, but a useful one, okay? All right, so you've drawn the other legs. 
will carry on. And if not, don't worry about it. You can do it later. You know what to do. You just mirror what you did on the other side. Here's some texture. Look, little C curves. See that? Here and there. Eh, I can face the other way now. Do little C curves here and there. Nothing to it. So crabs, where do they live? Well, most of them are at the beach, right? Here's something fun you can do. You can, off to the side, anywhere you like, maybe add a shell. So I do a sort of a wide open V shape, and then I carry it through like a little X and connect it like that, see that? And then on the other side, I connect it again with a curve, and then I just draw some lines, and there's one kind of a shell. Another kind of a shell I can do is I start again with that wide open V, and then I do a wavy line like that, do those little lines again, sure. And then here I just do a little circle. It's another kind of a shell. You could put some little dots here and there maybe for sand, right? Easy, I know you all can do this. How about some seaweed? Watch this. Just draw a wavy line like that. And then I just draw these little droopy bits off like that. Maybe there's some seaweed just washed up on the beach with our crab friend. You could draw some other little crabs, you could draw a little turtle, right? You could draw some water coming up like this, just a wavy line and another wavy line next to it, right? And maybe a couple of bubbles. So there is our crab hanging out at the beach. Isn't that fun? Now I know you're all going to make it really cool, make it your own. You could color it. You can add whatever you want. Um, and uh, this is a really simple design, but a very pleasing one. And the goal with these drawings is to make something that you can do repeatedly. You can come back to these anytime. Remember, they're archived on Behance. They're also archived on YouTube. So you can come back to them anytime if you forget some of the steps. But they're simple step-by-step -step drawings that anybody can do in just a few minutes. And you can change up the proportions here and there and have a lot of fun with them, right? So. I'm going to have to shrink our crab friend down a little bit. So magic shrinking, there we go. Slide him over this way, because I have to create some room for the animal and activity game, right? Now, you have to come up with an animal, an animal. I'm just learning how to speak English. You have to come up with an animal and an activity. So the animal's going to be doing something funny, weird, strange, fun. Uh, it could be totally normal too, that's fine. And yesterday we did a giraffe doing limbo. Um, day before that, I can't even remember what we did, but I know it was funny and interesting. They always are. So I'm gonna be looking at the chat for your suggestions, and then I'll pick one that I think I can draw in the next few minutes and leave just enough time for a little art tip for all of you, okay? So hit me with your suggestions, and I'm gonna turn my attention to the chat and see what we got, okay? Uh, thank you, Lee. I'm glad you like the sound effects. I don't know where those come from. It's weird. When I'm drawing, they just magically seem to happen. Kind of looks like origami, says Twee. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of origami, by the way. Um, not sure if anybody knows that, but yes, I, I, in fact, I don't know if you can see this behind me, but on my bookshelf, I have a Kusudama um, modular origami that I made in college, which was <gasps> years ago. Anyway, what do we have? A gorilla doing the tango. Excellent. A wombat eating a chocolate chip cookie. Awesome. I have no idea what a wombat looks like. I should look that up. A uh, kangaroo riding a bike blowing bubbles. Holy cow, that's complicated. Maybe I'll just try, try to do it and really challenge myself. Um, a dolphin skydiving. What would that look like? A bear. A bear doing what, Callisto? Uh, a lion peeling onions, tears, tears. Oh, poor lion. Crying because he's about to prepare some amazing meal with onions. Maybe some kind of stir fry. Seahorse playing soccer, that's a good one. A cow dancing, I like that, Ashi, cool. All right, gang, um, well, I think the kangaroo riding a bike blowing bubbles is what I'm gonna have to do because it's just incredibly difficult. And for some reason, I feel like giving myself an impossible challenge. So. Let's do it. Here we go. Now, as always, I'm going to start with a sketch and give myself some idea of how much real estate I want to take up on the page. So I'm thinking, all right, my kangaroo pal, 
maybe about this big. Okay, riding the bike. All right, so there's the kangaroo. Boy, I tell you, riding... <laughs> Why would I choose to draw something that I, I don't even know what a kangaroo looks like? It's got ears and kind of like a horsey kind of a head, right? Something like that. So <laughs> there's my there's my attempt at sort of the, the, the general kangaroo shape. I know they got big tails, so that'll help me out. Kind of got feet like a rabbit, don't they? Something like that. I should know because I went to Australia when I was 11 years old on a trip, which was amazing. And I got to see some kangaroos right there in my face. However, I didn't study them well enough to learn how to draw them. So, hmm. All right, now that I think of it, I think they got noses like that. Kind of like, almost like rabbit faces, right? Are they related to rabbits, kangaroos? Can somebody tell me in the chat? All right, now we need to have some arms coming out here. This one's gonna be holding a little uh, blowing bubbles thing. Um, wand or whatever it's called right with the bubbles coming out all right so there we go so this leg is here there's gonna be a pedal there oh my gosh this is complicated of all the things to try and draw a bike gang I tell you what why am I doing this to myself what's wrong with me do I just do I like torture no I don't uh, okay, there we go. Now, let's figure out how big the bike is. The bike's probably gonna be about, about this big, right? That's the general size I want it to be. Which means we gotta have a wheel here. And a wheel here. Alrighty. So this is gonna come down and connect. We've got a frame for the bike. Zoics. Bikes are a little less complicated than you might think. They're not the end of, it's not the, most difficult thing to draw, but a lot of people do shy away from them just because it's sometimes hard to get all the pieces and parts to line up properly. You want to know who draws bikes super well, and I know he's not watching, but I'm going to give him a shout out anyway. Leo Espinosa. Holy cow, is he a good artist. Leo Espinosa. Look up the work of Leo Espinosa and you'll be glad you did because it's full of color and personality and and just, it's just marvelous. He's an amazing artist. I tell you what, check him out, look him up. You won't be disappointed. Alrighty, now, how are we doing on time? I'll check my, check my time. <whistles> All right, I've got about mm, seven minutes to try and make this work. Let's see if I can do it. Okay, so we got a pedal there and we got a pedal there. I'm even trying to figure out, like, seriously, why am I bothering to try and figure out how the bike chain would work and whether that would all line up? I'm a glutton for punishment, everybody. All right, kangaroo, riding a bicycle, blowing bubbles. Now, you saw the process, right? You start with a sketch, okay? And I'm gonna give this kangaroo a little hair because I think it's cute. Um, you you kind of map out how much space you need on the paper, you work with big shapes. See how I'm like, long shapes, big shapes, work big to small. Look how many times I restated that tail, right? Until I kind of got sort of where I wanted it to be. You know? Yeah, drawing, you know, get messy and, and move stuff around. You don't have to commit to anything until you're ready to do those, those final lines, which is the stage where I am right now. So here we go. I'm going to Reduce the opacity there. Hopefully you all can see that. Maybe I'll make it a little darker. And it's time for me to draw those more confident lines. Wish me luck. I'm gonna go down and around. And there's that little nose. I'm gonna make him sort of blowing. And we'll just put an ear there. Do kangaroos, kangaroos have really big ears, don't they? I'm trying to remember what a kangaroo's ears look like. I think they're quite large. So I'm gonna make the ears bigger. All you animal experts out there can tell me like how crazy this looks if it's just way off. But I'm doing my best in the next five minutes to get this to look decent. So you can cut me some slack, right? All right, now this arm has the little wand for blowing the bubbles, like that. 
Alrighty. And we're going to come down here. We're going to grab that big C curve there for that one leg. Okay. And then we're going to connect this tail and right on up like so. That feels okay to me. And then the other leg has to come behind the frame. So let's get that frame in position there. A little handlebar here. And uh, actually I'm gonna use a, a fat line for that because it feels good. There we go. A fat line and down and then around. And that's gonna connect to that tire and then the other leg coming back here, and there we go, on that pedal. There's one pedal there, and the other pedal there. And then we gotta have that bike seat there, which I'll just color in like that. Come down here and connect. All right, actually that's to go over there. See, boy, bikes, I tell you what, what am I doing to myself here? Terrible idea, Kyle. I mean, great suggestion from you all, but for me to try and knock this out in this amount of time is just foolish. But I'm gonna try and do it. Don't worry about those tires, they're gonna be a little wonky. That's what you get for drawing something like this in just a few minutes, but hey. Acceptable. Okay, how about some hair on this kangaroo? There we go. Bubbles, bubbles. Okay, there. Now, the front wheel is much bigger than the back, but whatever. Just gonna have to live with it, gang. And we'll put a little ground plane there. And uh, hey, how you doing? I'm a kangaroo riding a bike and blowing bubbles. And there you have it, folks. Okay, we have just enough time for a little itty bitty art tip. So thanks for that really cool suggestion that challenged me. Holy Christmas, that was tough. Yeah, that's, that's a tough drawing. Um, but hey, I hope you learned a little something there about bikes, you know? Um, bikes are tough to draw. Now, if I had really been paying attention, I would have popped that seat up a little higher Okay, but I guess if we want, we can make that a banana seat, which was what I had when I was learning how to ride. I had a little banana seat bike, like so. I don't know if anybody else out there even knows what those are. If they, do they still make banana seat bikes? <gasps> I don't know, gang. Look, he's going fast. Action lines, action lines are so cool. You can do so much with them. Alrighty, so kangaroo friend, I'm gonna slide you over this way, okay? And Krabby Crab, I'm gonna push you over this way because for our art tip, I just wanna to talk to you quickly about folds in clothing. Look, I'm gonna have an arm, okay? And it's wearing a shirt, okay? There's a cuff and there's that hand, whoop. Now, what happens if I bend my arm that way? What's gonna to happen to the fabric of the clothing? Okay, let's see here, watch this. Down we go, okay? Oh, excuse me. Down we go, and then I gotta bend it a little bit this way, okay? Now hold on, what happens here? Whoop, whoop, whoop. What happens? This area right here, okay, is getting stretched, but this area has to get pinched together, folded together, correct? So, So as a result, you have to change the way you draw the lines for that area, okay? Now think about this, what if I bend really sharp like that, okay? So now I've got the hand up here. I come back this way, whoa! Now these get really intense, don't they? Look at all that, and this whole area is getting stretched. Think about how clothing and fabric bends and moves with someone's body, right? Think about how things drape and hang, okay? Here's a piece of fabric just sitting by itself, 
Okay, it's just a rectangle. But what happens if I stick a pin in it here and a pin in it there and I hang it on the wall? Okay, well, let's think about that. Look, what's gonna happen to this area? Well, it has no support, right? So it's going to droop downwards. All right, so watch this. Here's what happens to that same piece of fabric. Pin, pin, right? And wherever there's the pin, we're gonna get some folds coming down like so. All right, now think about that kind of stuff when you're drawing clothing, fabric, and all that kind of good stuff. It's a good thing to keep in mind. All righty, so there's your little art tip for the day. Anyway, folks, thank you for hanging out with me another three days in a row. We did some fun drawing. We're gonna do it again next week, of course. And I hope you all have a lovely weekend. Please stay safe, stay healthy, take care of one another, and everybody be smart out there. It's a weird time, but we're gonna get through it just fine, okay? So do some drawing. Do some drawing this weekend, all right? Just 10 minutes, five minutes here. It doesn't matter, five minutes there. Um, it's good for you. All right, take care, and I'll see you again next time. Everybody, be safe.